hi lovelies welcome back to another video today i'm doing a watch me wear customized press on set for one of my clients and i thought i'll share it with you guys and as usual before i go any further let me give a shout out to my notification squad these are the first three people to get in and drop a comment on my last video and if you're ready for today's design let's go I do not use the regular nail tips for my press-ons however I do use the gel X nail extensions and in this case my client requested stiletto nails so because I provided her with a sample kit of all 10 sizes she knew exactly which finger and how they would measure up so I did send her this message so after she measured them all out she was supposed to fill in the numbers which she did so therefore I already went ahead and sized her nail tips she also requested this color i'm going to show it to you guys so i'm going to give her the closest color that i have that would represent this given the lighting and everything and she requested a glass nail for her accent nail so i do have free reign to create whatever i want on the accent finger so that's what we're going to do today so going in with my ugly ducklings coarse buffer i'm going to start using this to remove the surface shine from my tips I'm also going to use this to sort of shape up the free edge of the extension to remove that little piece of tip that comes attached to the nail. I'm not going to take down this, the length of these at all. I'm going to leave them as is. And you're going to see me buffing over all five nails here, but I did make an error with that ring finger because it's a glass nail. I did have to prep it a little bit different. So later on in the video, you're going to see me prepping it and I did switch it out. So I went in and removed the excess dust off of these nails and now with my Apre Gel X Primer I'm going to coat over all, well in this case I did it on 4 nails not 5. So the primer is going to have these nails nice and tacky so it's also going to assist with the matteness of the nail to give my gel polish something to adhere to. So now I'm going to start strengthening these Apre extensions. So I'm starting off with my Madame Glam's base coat and I'm going to apply a very nice thin even layer making sure to remove any excess gel polishes from the sides and I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds now these apre gel extensions are a little bit flexible so you do want to make sure that you're strengthening them it's just like if you're using regular nail tips you do have to take a strengthening precaution whether you put gel or you put acrylic on top of it So 
so after securing my base coat i'm going in with the madame glam's pure serenity and this is their builder gel in a bottle and i'm going to be applying a layer of this onto all the nails removing any excess gel and removing the excess gel every single layer that you apply is going to maintain the shape of these nails and i'm going to cure this layer for 60 seconds The closest color that I found to the color that my client requested was Fresh Me Up by Madame Glam. So I'm going to be applying two nice thin even layers of this gel polish. Now you can get away with one coat given the opacity of this color. But I prefer to keep them really nice and thin and do two coats. Again removing any excess at the free edge of the nail tip before popping it into the light. Now I'm going in with my second coat and I'm going to repeat the exact same steps making sure to remove any excess gel from on that nail before popping it into the light and I am curing each layer for 30 seconds. My client did not want her nails matte, she wanted them gloss. So now I'm going in with the final step to this, well, these four nails, and I'm going to apply my Madame Glam's No Wipe Gel Top Coat to all four nails. Again, using my fingers to remove any excess gel, and I'm going to pop it into the light, and I'm going to give them a final cure of 60 seconds. One thing I do want to mention while I'm finishing this step is if it is that you are using regular nails for press-ons and you have a design like this, I will suggest using gel, builder gel, poly gel instead of acrylic. Acrylic literally hardens that nail so there's no flex to it. Now if you use acrylic, I will recommend sizing up. So if your client ordered a one for her thumb, I will go in with a zero because there is no flexibility to apply that nail to her natural nails the acrylic is going to make that nail appear smaller than it is so with the gel like in this case the builder gel and the layer of the base coat and the gel polish and even the top coat that nail still has some flexibility to it it's not hard to say like you know it can't expand if it's on my client's nails however if i was using acrylic on this nails or on these nails i would have to go up every single size and i'm saying that because on the accent nail her regular size would have been a size four 
and I went in a size up and did a five because I have so many layers of gel and so many layers of product because it is an encapsulated design then that nail is then going to end up way too small for her if I went in with her normal size So here they are all cured and looking fabulous as ever. I love this color. This is like one of my favorite colors by Madame Glam. So on the accent nail, as I said before, I had to redo it. So I just went in with the same coarse buffer. I reshaped the free edge and removed that extra tip. I went in with my Opre Gel X Primer. Nope, before I did that, I went in with a cotton and some acetone to get that nail nice and tacky. And then I went in with my Opre Gel X Primer. And then I added my base coat and I cured that for 30 seconds. So now I'm going in with soft pink and this is one of the Madame Glam's nude gel polishes from their nude collection that i swatched a while ago and i'm going to be applying this to the cuticle area only using my clean up brush to remove any harsh lines or to prevent that gel polish from pleating up underneath my glitter and i am using this color to camouflage the nail bed you guys know this already i hate seeing the natural nails underneath my glitter nails so i always camouflage it and i did cure each layer of this soft pink for 30 seconds now going in with my madame glam's base coat and i'm going to use this wet base coat to start pressing my glitters into it so i'm using my raw glitters i'm not using any acrylic glitters or anything like that going in with my finest set of glitters first i'm going to use an oil gel brush and i'm going to start pressing this up against the nail very sparingly i don't want it to be too clustered because i have other glitters to apply to this nail so this is what is going to give you that glass effect when you start layering your glitter starting from the smallest and then working your way up to the largest and the brush is this color because this is the exact same brush i used in my neon feather nail art video where i did the pigments so that is why it looks like this i just cleaned it off but unfortunately it's stained and if you missed that video i would have it on my end screen i will have it in the cards on the screen right now and i will also link it in my description box below so you guys can go ahead and check it out you don't have an excuse not to find it it's right there into that same wet gel i didn't apply another layer i'm going to start using these silver butterfly glitters and i'm going to press them in now i'm shifting them around because at this point i did not know that i wanted to put the butterfly on top of the nail i was just going with the full glass effect until when i completed it is then i realized okay no this is not working it was missing something and the butterfly that i used just paired perfectly with the color scheme of this set like I can't even believe it like it was meant for it so I went in with another layer of base coat and I'm going to start with this chunkier glitter mix and again I'm doing this very sparingly and I'm going around my butterflies after doing that I am going to pop it into the light now once you're working with press on nails and you're going to be encapsulating with gel and you are using glitters or anything you need to make sure that they are laying nice and flat on that nail before you go in to cure because wherever you cure it is where it's going to stay and you don't want those butterflies or glitters sticking out because when you have to file this nail yes you do have to file it so when you go in to file this nail you're going to file away anything that's sticking up All of my glitter is cured in place so now I'm going to be encapsulating with the Madame Glam's Pure Serenity. I did go in with about three layers of this and cured each layer for a full 60 seconds. After curing I removed that tacky layer and I'm going in with my 180 grit hand file. Because this is gel I don't need anything too coarse. So I like my 180 grit. I use this to reshape the nail and then I go over that nail with my coarse buffer again. Because everything is nice and flat there is no need for me to go in with my e-file or anything like that. So now I did go in and remove the dust and I'm applying my McCart foil gel and I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds because that is the recommended amount of time. After it comes out of the light I do allow it to cool for a little bit. Thank you. 
and this is the little cutie I was talking about earlier I love this butterfly so so much so I'm just trying to figure out a way to position it where you know there's no rocket science in it and then I just rest it down and I use the back of my cleaner brush to rub that to, well to transfer the butterfly onto the nail you can use whatever you have an orange wood stick like anything this is so easy for you guys to do at home you can do your own nails at home just follow these simple steps if you don't have the builder in a bottle do two or three layers of your base coat and you will be fine so now that that has transferred perfectly i'm going to go in with my final step and I am using my Madame Glam's No Wipe Gel Top Coat and I did apply this to the underneath of the nail even after removing that stand and this is the final result so because I'm not selling press ons like crazy I decided to just use this little cute cardstock with this frame on it and I'm using my double sided tape that I purchased on Amazon this is like a quarter of an inch and if you guys are interested I would link it in my description box below and I'm just going to lay them on the cardstock until I'm happy with the placement of it I shift it until each one is lined up perfectly and I just go ahead and slide it into these holographic bags and zip tie them up and after packaging them I will have a clip at the end of the video to share with you guys as to the final result how they look really and truly do love how these turned out it's very easy to do you guys could definitely tackle these on your own nails at home right now so yeah that is it for me I hope you guys enjoy this video if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and click on the bell icon down below to make sure that your post notifications are on so that you don't miss out whenever i drop a new video i want to welcome all my new subscribers thank you guys so much for being part and joining the be glamorous family and to all my regular and loyal subscribers i love and appreciate you guys so so much you will not believe so that is it for me i'm going to leave you guys right here I did get a clip of this set outside and let me tell you it was gorgeous it was the bomb.com and I did include it at the end of this video as well don't go too far remember to check out that feathered that neon feathered nail art design that I have on my end screen for you guys as well as any one of my other press on nail tutorials so again I hope everyone is having an amazing day or night whatever time it is where you are right now as always, I would love for you guys to stay glamorous, be safe, and I'll see you soon. Just a game Cause I got high hopes